Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a book haul for y'all. I'm super excited to talk about all of the books that I've gotten recently in the past month or so. So let's get into these books. The first thing I wanna do is an unboxing for Faded Romance book box. Um, I'm actually wearing one of the things that they sent my way. I am a rep for them. The website to their site is down below as well as my code, which is Ava10. They are a monster alien paranormal romance bookish box and I am thoroughly obsessed with them and all of their products. So I have a few merch items to show you as well as an order I placed myself for their Jillian Graves book box. So first is what I'm currently wearing. Let me move the chair. And it is this crew neck sweatshirt. Look at how cute this is. It's a monster matchmaking service sweatshirt and also has happy mate, happy eternity since 1666. Isn't that so stinking cute? And just the design and everything. I'm obsessed with it. I have more products to show you. And again, you can go check out their site if you want to look at even more of their products. First is this mug that says Death by TBR. I think it's super cute. I love the handle like the the shape of it like it's really big my hand can fit in it and like the design is on both sides it's a fairly deep mug it's black I love it next I have a bag that kind of goes along with the sweatshirt a little bit it says love bathhouse established in 2021 I feel like that's fairly similar to my sweatshirt and so I love it it's super cute I love this color Whoop. I cannot like get enough of these tote bags and um they're amazing for when you have to go book shopping or just shopping in general. So I love this. And I have a shirt. This is a shirt. Also, this says Death by TBR, another Death by TBR design. I think it's super cute. And then lastly for that box is a bunch of stickers that I love. They have amazing stickers on their shop. So I'm going to show them off. This one says Spice for Life with the little chili. This one says Romance Reader, H-E-A or D-N-F. Bookish Babe, one more chapter. Enemies to Lovers, this might be my favorite one. This is Romanticy, I love it. The Lovers Tarot Card, Faded Mates. And then the last sticker says Friends to Lovers. I'm obsessed with these stickers. And so if you wanna check out more products like these, be sure to go check out Faded Romance Bookish Box, their site and my code, again, are linked down below. I also got the Faded Romance um, Jillian Graves box because I really love Jillian Graves. So I got two exclusive editions of the books that she currently has out now. So first is Titan. This one is beautiful. I haven't read this one yet, but this is a gargoyle uh, monster romance. But then I have read Blood Moon, which is her like witch novella. I this one, this is one of my favorite books of last year. It's such a fun, hot read. Um, this one also has a vampire in it, a vampire hero and a witch. The witch is the grumpy one and the hero, the vampire is the sunshine. So iconic, um, but I haven't read this one yet. I'm excited to, but look at how beautiful these are. I can't wait to put them on my shelves. I got the smaller box, so I didn't get a bunch of goodies, but I did get a few things. I got two book plates to put in my books as well. I was also sent some stickers. So this is the iconic Faded Romance one that I love. I've gotten this one a few times from them and I just, I love it. This one, I believe is from Titan. It says, I'm going to punish you, I think. I'm going to punish you, baby girl. <laughs> I believe this one's from Titan. This one has a quote on it from Titan with a pair of heels. So this one says, I want you to do exactly what I ask when I ask, but most of all, I want to take care of you. Cute. And then the last one in here says party in a bottle. And I think this is uh, one from Blood Moon because she drinks this like potion at the beginning that gets her a little, a little hot and bothered. Okay, <laughs> so um, I thought these were so cute. And I am thrilled to have all of this in my collection now. I do also want to mention my lovely friend, Kate, over at the Book of Kate. I'll link her channel down below because she is a booktuber, okay? Um, she, we had a little fun time with another one of our friends um, over spring break and she sent me something afterward. She did not have to do that at all, but we had a Twilight movie marathon, okay? And so she got me the Twilight scene it. It's like a new staple on my shelves. It's all the way at the tippy tippy top is where I'm gonna display it and like, look at it. I collect anything and everything Twilight, okay? Big Twihard here. So I'm like so happy to have this in my collection. 
Like anything Twilight, give it to me now. I love it. And when we get together again, we are definitely going to be playing this. So thank you so much, Kate. I love you so much. And I can't wait to get together again where we can watch the movies again and play this. Let's get into these books. So first I'm going to go with the books that were very kindly sent to me. I was first sent these two books by Maggie Cole. This is a part of her new duet. The first one I believe is ooh, the auction. And then the second one is the vow these i believe are mafia romances and i really enjoy maggie cole's writing and so i was so happy and very honored that she decided to send these books my way i have a few books by her over there and so i just love collecting her books and i hope to read these very soon next i have choosing theo by victoria aveline this was so kindly gifted to me by jenny her channel name sorry is jenny reads maybe and i'm gonna link uh her instagram down below but she is so sweet we've been messaging on Instagram and she decided to send this to me because of my new job that I got at the beginning of the year and she was like the sweetest note with it like talking about how because I talked about choosing Theo like she got into the series so she decided to get the book for me because I didn't have one for my collection and so Jenny you are so incredibly sweet thank you so much I do love this book choosing Theo is absolutely wonderful this whole series is like to die for. I love it. Thank you so much, Jenny. Nikki over at Nikki and Bookland ended up sending me a gift, a book for hitting 7k. So thank you so much, Nikki. She sent me Our Doll's Resonance by Ruby Dixon. You cannot go wrong with the Ruby Dixon book. So thank you so much, Nikki. You are so incredibly sweet. Nikki is going to be linked down below as well. I absolutely adore her. And she was so incredibly sweet to send this one my way. I have read this one. This is Ruby's newest release. And it also has a step back. Like I think Ruby's going to be doing this for all the other books in the series and I'm so excited like look at how beautiful this is we have a scene very similar to this embrace on the back in the actual book and I just love it this is yeah the first book in her Ice Planet clone series and I loved it. Thank you so much, Nikki. You are so sweet. You did not have to do that. Next, I ended up doing a whoop thrift books order. I hadn't gone on thrift books in a bit and I was like you know what I really want to get the rest of the books in this C.L. Wilson series. And I was like, where can I get them for fairly cheap? Because I don't own the last two. And I was like, you know what? Let's go to thrift books. And I think I had to reach a certain threshold with money or my purchasing in order to get free shipping. And so I got two books on top of these two. So these are the last two books in her Terran Soul series. I loved this series so much. And this is the next book that I have to read in that series. So this is Queen of Song and Souls. If you want to read about an epic, epic faded romance, you got to read these books. They're so good. Each book is about the same couple and then like figuring out them being faded mates and there's a war going on. It is so good. And so the last book in the series is Crown of Crystal Flame. And so I think these covers are just so iconic. I love them so much. And even like they have beautiful backs too. Like go to the back of book four. Love it. And then there's the back of book five. Not as special as this one, honestly, but um, these are just beautiful and I adore this series. And I'm so happy I have the whole collection with me. I need to read book four and book five very soon. These are the other two books that I decided to get. I saw they were both very discounted compared to the Amazon selling price. So I was like, let's get them now because I want them for my collection. So this is the Hearts in Darkness collection by Laura Kay. So this is the 10th anniversary edition for the Hearts in Darkness duet. And I love, love the Hearts in Darkness books. Um, the first one is kind of like a novella where our hero and heroine end up meeting on an elevator, but they don't know what the other person looks like because the lights go out like right when the elevator shuts and they're both doing their own thing like on their phone or something when another person gets on the elevator so they have no idea what the other person looks like and they end up falling for each other while stuck on this elevator for quite a while. And so this is like a duet. There's more to their story. And I think there's even like an epilogue in this edition. So I am so thrilled to have this. And then the last book that I got from Thrift Books is Someday Someday by Emma Scott. I looked at a lot of books on Thrift Books for authors that I was going to see a book bonanza. And Emma Scott is one of them. And this one was discounted heavily compared to Amazon. And it's a little like beat up, as you can tell, but I personally don't care. I love used books like I think they have so much character and personality to them like it just shows that they've been read and loved you know so someday some days I believe in MM romance 
and I have not read this one yet. I've heard really good things. I think this one deals with some very serious topics like all of Emma Scott's books do. So I'm very excited to read this. My friends really love it. And I'm going to be definitely bringing this with me to Dallas in June. Throughout the last two months, I ended up on a whim just getting these two books because I wanted them. Okay, I think I was in a rough area and I got one book and then I was in a rough area for another book, so I got it, okay? Um, so first is Dragon Unleashed by Grace Draven. Um, I love this book a lot. I love this book so much. This is a dragon shifter fantasy romance book. And uh, like, if you can see, like there's the dragon's eye next to her. I love this book so much. And actually, one of the reasons why I got this one is because book three came out recently in this series and I started reading book three and I was kind of lost because the main characters of book three appear in book two, but I totally forgot about them. Um, so I'm going to reread book two, probably annotate it, and then finally read book three um, very soon. So I love this one. One of my favorite covers ever, honestly. I love it. I'm so happy to have it for my collection because I love Grace Draven. It's going in the Grace Draven Square. Okay. Then the other one I just got off a whim. I think I got it for myself. Um, when I got my second sty in the month span, I was like, I need to treat myself because I'm going through it. So I decided to get my brains taming by Ruby Dixon. <laughs> um, I am so dumb and haven't gotten some of the older covers before the new cover release. Like I didn't get Barbarian's um, Mate. I think that's the one it's called. The one with... Um, Josie, I didn't get that one in the old cover, so I'm bummed about that. Um, like I wasn't able to get them beforehand. So I'm like now very persistent on purchasing the book in the series before the new cover is gonna get released because then this old cover won't be released anymore. And so I'm missing a few, okay? But it's okay, I'm gonna find them before I die. It's gonna happen, I believe in myself. This is Hayden and Maddie's book. I really enjoy this one, it's a fun read and another book, a part of the IPB series that I could add to my collection. I went into a Goodwill with my mom at one point in the past and I found two Victoria Alexander books. I think I got each of them for a dollar and both of them have really pretty step backs. I have not read a Victoria Alexander book. When you see a beautiful step back for a dollar, I had to snack them, okay? So this one is Seduction of a Proper Gentleman and this is a step back for that one. And then the other one is a little bit wicked. This is a step back for that one. Look at that. I could not pass that up. We then traveled to my college town for a meal with some family members and there was a Barnes and Noble close by. And I was like, I've been to Barnes and Noble in a hot minute. Can I please pop in on the way home? And I did. And I got three bucks. I treated myself. Okay, um, next is the new cover of Barbarian Mine. This is one of the few books where I own both editions. Thank goodness. Um, but this is Harlow and what's his name? Rook. Yes, Rook. Harlow and Rook kidnapping one in the series. Book four. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. I then got Glitterland by Alexis Hall. This was Brie and I's book club pick for um, our last Chronically Courageous book club. And I saw the copy at Barnes and Noble and I was like, fate, amazing. I haven't read this one yet. Let's pick it up. This is an MM romance dealing a lot with mental health. Um, I'll link our live show down below where we discuss this book, but we had fun reading this one together. This one is a little bit more serious, just FYI. This was Alexis Hall's first ever published book, but they just re-released it with like a new cover. And I think he also changed some things in the book as well. And then I also got one of my favorite reads of February, I believe, which is Highly Suspicious and a Fairly Cute by Tali Hibbert. I had to get it for my Telly Hibber collection over here, okay? I really love this one. I gave this one five stars. This is actually a YA book though. These two used to be best friends. Now they're not anymore and they have to go on like a camping kind of thing together. It's very entertaining, very cute. I really enjoyed this YA romance. The last stack of books are all of these that I got at my local used bookstore um, and they're all historical. So if you're not a historical girly, you can click off now. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> but these are some historicals that I found recently that I just could not pass up at this bookstore. First are these two Gail Callan books. I could not pass them up. They are stunning. They look like paintings. So this is His Bride. It's beautiful. And then this one is His Scandal. I have not read anything by this author yet, um, but I do own a few of her books. So um, I have heard good things about Gail Callan, um, but these were just so stunning. I could not pass them up. Next is Captain Jack's Woman by Stephanie Lawrence. This is the first book in one of her series I've been wanting to read. And I do have the audiobook available to me on Libby, um, but I saw a hard copy and I was like, yes. This is a sign and I believe this is kind of like a piratey 
romance of some kind. Um, and I've heard good things about Stephanie Lawrence. I collect Donna Fletcher books and I saw this one and squealed because I love it so much. This is The Bewitching Twin by Donna Fletcher. The title, the cover, the clinchness, come on. Like, yes, I adore Donna Fletcher's writing and just had to have this one. I found two Johanna Lindsay's I did not own yet. This is The Pursuit with this step back. And the other Johanna Lindsay is Home for the Holidays with this step back. So I love how I own like over 10 Johanna Lindsay's. Have I read a single one? No, it's okay. I'm a reader, but I'm also a collector. Okay. And then the last two books that I have are Karen Hawkins books that I ended up finding. I love Karen Hawkins books and whenever I find one of them, I have to get it. First, I have The Laird Who Loved Me by Karen Hawkins with this step back and then the last one is so stunning this is the abduction of julia with more of a painting style cover as well look how beautiful that is anyways there you have it that is a book haul for y'all let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to please again be sure to check out faded romance bookish box i love them so much their merch their books they are fantastic. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me the book stack emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.